Hey guys, this is Test 31 Game 2. This is the infamous CDs game, one of the most difficult LSAT logic games ever. So if you have trouble with this, you're not alone. This game is an in-out game, also, also known as Selection. We're looking to see which of the CDs are on sale and which are not on sale. Those that are on sale are in and designated as positive. Those that are not on sale are out and designated as negative. Now, if you look at the rules, you'll see that most of them are conditional rules, but the first rule is actually not a conditional. Those are two separate concrete statements. We have used pop in, definitely, and we have new opera out, definitely, all the time. That is not a conditional relationship. Those are both absolute. Now, the second rule says if both pops are on sale, then all soul is. Now, they're being a little bit redundant here because we know that used pop is already in. So we could simply take this rule to be saying, if new pop is in, then both souls are in. If new pop is in, then used soul is in, and also new soul is in. The contrapositive would be, if we do not have used soul, or if we do not have new soul, either of those things is sufficient to guarantee that we will lack new pop. Now the next rule mentions jazz and rap variables that we did not previously have so I will skip that rule and come back to it when we have more information to you know maybe maybe hopefully link things together. The next rule says if we lack both jazzes then we will have new pop. So if used jazz is out and if new jazz is out those two things happening form a sufficient condition to guarantee that new pop is in. So used jazz and new jazz both being out guarantees new pop will be in. Contrapositive, if new pop is out, then at least one of the jazzes will have to be in. Now this is kind of a nasty thing to write down here. I'm just gonna say, you know, new jazz use jazz right here. At least one of those two things will have to be in. I use a dotted arrow to indicate that when we have at least one of those things happening in the necessary condition. When you're or the necessary, a dotted arrow is a good way to designate for yourself, to indicate to yourself that you do not have to have both of those things. It's simply having at least one of those two. The last rule says, you know, either rap, then no soul. I'm just going to write this really concisely because this game can get hairy if you try to actually link everything together. Rap, then no soul. Contrapositive, soul, then no rap. Now, the rule that I skipped, both jazzes, then no rap. I'm just going to write that down in its original form because the contrapositive gets kind of nasty and it's not really easy to link things together. I'm going to say, use jazz plus new jazz, because it's those two things together, guarantees that we will lack both raps. Then I'm just going to say, you know, rap out, meaning like all rap is out. So this is our initial setup for the game. Question number one, this is our typical orientation question, just asking us for one possible scenario. So the most efficient way to handle this kind of question is to take one rule at a time and check through all five choices looking for violations. So the simplest rule to, to check, of course, is that wrap and soul conflict. If you have wrap in, then you have soul out. If you have soul in, then you have wrap out. So any choice mentioning both wrap and soul has to be bad. We scan through the choices. We see that choice B mentions both wrap and soul. So that is a bad choice. I would look through the others just in case to see if perhaps another one violates that rule, but none of them do. Next, I'm going to go forward and say to myself, if we have both jazzes, then we have no rap. I'm talking about the third listed rule here. So running through the choices, choice A mentions both jazzes, yet also mentions a rap. That is unacceptable. We eliminate A. Again, scan through the other choices just in case, because we're already holding this rule in our head, but none of the others contains both jazzes, so this rule has exhausted its usefulness for us with regard to this question. Next, we can say to ourselves, whenever we lack both jazzes, we have to have new pop. So scanning through the choices, choice C lacks both jazzes, yet does not have new pop. 
that is unacceptable, so C is gone. Next, we'll scan through the rules once again. Whenever we have new pop, we have to have both souls. So running through the choices, D has new pop, yet does not have both souls. It has only one soul, so D is eliminated. And we are left with E by process of elimination, which does not violate any of the rules. You want to solve these questions, ideally in most cases, by process of elimination. If new soul is not on sale, then what must be true? So looking at our chain, we see here that new soul out requires new pop out and at least one of the jazz is in. So our must will most likely be regarding new pop out or regarding one of the jazz is in. We can simply run through the choices and we're by elimination or we could look to see what we predict. I'm just going to go by elimination here. A, new wrap is not on sale. New wrap is not impacted by new soul being out. Those two things do not have a relationship in that way. So A is gone. B, new wrap is on sale. Again, new wrap not affected. B is gone. C, used opera not on sale. If you look at the rules here, you'll see that used opera is never affected by anything. Used opera is essentially always on the fence, so to speak. We don't know if it's going in or out. No other variable determines used opera's placement, so C is eliminated. D, at least one jazz not on sale. Well, we know that at least one jazz must be on sale, must be in, but for, as far as e, at least one being out, we can't say about anything about that at all, so D is gone, E by elimination. If you actually look at E, at least one pop not on sale, meaning at least one pop out, of course, new pop is always out when new soul is out. So new soul out requires new pop out. E is our answer for number eight. Next, number nine, if both jazzes are on sale, then what's the minimum number of new CDs that could be in? So the fewest new CDs that we could get away with having in. So both jazzes on sale requires both wraps out. Does not tell us anything about stuff needing to be in. So when both jazzes are on sale, I'm gonna use the in-out table on the left over here. Used pop is in, of course, used jazz is in, and new jazz is in, and we know that both of the wraps will have to be out due to this third rule of the game. Both jazz is in, both wraps out. So what's the minimum number of new CDs we could get, we could get away with having? Well, we've got new jazz in, of course, based upon the question stem here, but no other new CDs have to be in. We've got to have at least three CDs in total, but out of those three, only one of them will be a new CD, and this question is asking us for a new CD, so A is our answer to number nine. Next, number 10, what cannot be true? If you scan through all the choices here, you'll see that each one is saying neither this and neither that, meaning for which pairing of genres can we not lack both? In other words, for which pairing of genres must we always have at least one in? And when we talk about having at least one in or not being able to lack both, we are referring to a negative arrow positive relationship, ending on a positive note, forcing more variables in. So if we look at our rules, which ones have a negative positive relationship? You know, new pop and the jazzes have a negative arrow positive relationship. Also, each of the souls and the jazzes, negative soul, positive jazz, negative soul, positive jazz. Also, of course, negative jazz, positive soul. So I'm basically looking for a choice saying JS or meaning jazz and soul or PJ meaning pop and jazz. If you scan through the choices, D as in delta, neither jazz and neither soul, JS, that's what we're talking about here because whenever you lack one of the souls, you have to have one of the jazzes. So you can never lack both soul and jazz. You lack a soul, you get a jazz. You lack both of the jazzes, you have both of the souls. Now, if you look at the choices here, A, B, and C all mention opera. Neither opera, neither opera, neither opera. Now, opera is always irrelevant here 
as far as having it in because new opera is always out on the bottom left here and used opera is always on the fence. So we never need to have either of the operas no matter what. So if you cross off the opera portion of each choice of A, B, and C, you're left with A talking about rap, B about jazz, C about soul for each of those answer choices. And we never need to have any of rap, jazz, or soul in particular because this is a conditional game. No one is ever, none of those three is ever determined to have to be in or out. It's all based on the conditional relationships. So D is our answer for number 10. Next, number 11, if neither jazz is on sale, what must be true? So if neither jazz is on sale, looking at the top here, neither jazz in forces new pop in forces both souls in. So I'm going to use my in out table on the bottom left here. Neither jazz in, so we're going to have new jazz in the out column and used jazz in the out column. New pop has to be in as a result of that conditional relationship and both souls have to be in as a result of new pop being in. And that force is, I'm sorry, that force is um, soul and rap here. Rap in requires soul out, soul in requires rap out. We're going to lack both of the raps as a result. Use opera, of course, still on the fence. So what must be true? Must we have used opera? Of course not. Used opera is always on the fence. Like we said, we need, never need to have used opera in or out. It's not a must. So A is actually our answer for number 11. If we run through the rest of the choices though, must we have new rap out? Yes, of course we do. New rap has to be out right here, you see. So B is gone. Used rap out. Yes, once again, it's in the out column already. That is a must. D and E regarding souls. We see that both of the souls are in. So D and E are eliminated, leaving A as our answer by process of elimination. Next, number 12. If new soul is the only new CD on sale. So again, the in out table. I'm going to put new soul in. And new soul in being the only new CD in requires all the others to be out. So new opera is out, new jazz is out, new pop is out, new rap is out. So all the other new CDs were out. Now let's look at the implications of that. New jazz out doesn't lead to anything really, because it's remember it's both the jazzes being out that requires new pop in. However, new pop out does lead to something. New pop out leads to at least one of the jazzes in. It certainly can't be new jazz that is in, because we already have new jazz out, because they said new soul was the only new CD in. Therefore, we're going to have to have used jazz in the in column. Used jazz will have to be in. So when they ask us what cannot be true, well, it cannot be true that used jazz is out, because we see that it's in right here. A says used jazz out, so A is our answer. If we run through the rest, used opera, B. Once again, used opera is always on the fence. It could be anywhere. Used rap out. Well, used rap was not even determined at all. That could be anywhere. Used soul in. That could easily be out. Used soul out. It could easily be in. Used soul was on the fence as well. So B, C, D, E, all eliminated, leaving A as our answer to number 12. Next, number 13, if exactly four of the five used CDs are on sale. So we've already got used pop in. So if we're going to have four more, or I'm sorry, four total, we're going to have used pop, we're going to have used jazz, used opera will go in finally. We're going to have used rap or used soul, used opera no longer on the fence. We cannot have both used rap and used soul because rap and soul conflict when one is in the other's out, when one's in the other's out. So one of used soul or used rap will have to be out. So used pop, used jazz, used opera, all guaranteed to be in. So what could be true? Could we have used jazz out? No, we just said used jazz has to be in. A is gone. B, used opera not on sale. Remember, used opera has to be in now. So B is eliminated. C, used rap not on sale. That could easily happen. We could have used rap out and have used soul in. So C is our answer. We could lack used rap. Neither jazz on sale, impossible. No, because used jazz has to be in. Neither rap and neither soul. We cannot lack both of them because then we'd only have used pop, used jazz, used opera. We wouldn't be able to have 
I th we wouldn't be able to reach the max of four that they're talking about here, reaching that four number, four UCDs. Instead, we would have only three. Impossible. So E is eliminated as well, as was D. Sees our answer by elimination.